What up guys, Disney Chubs back at it again and what are we doing today? Tips on planning your summer vacation. For 2019. Okay guys, so today we're here talking about how to plan your summer trip That's to the right. Disneyland Resort because it's about to get crazy. It's gonna get crazy guys. But one one little thing before we start, if you're new to this channel, think about subscribing, hit that little subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit that notification icon. Ring -a ding ding Also, at the end of this video, don't forget to hit like button. So, with this summer being that Galaxy's Edge is going to be opening up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But they decided to open up early. And they're opening up early. When are they opening up? Okay, everyone. So I'm sure you've already seen it on posts and blogs and the news. Everywhere. Everywhere you can imagine. Your mama's kitchen is just coming <laughs> at you. So we were expecting Galaxy's Edge, a.k.a. Star Wars Land, if you want to use that type of term um we were expecting mid-june mm -hmm. to be honest with you and i and i thought okay that gives, uh, gives everybody enough time to have somewhat of a beginning of a um break summer break to get like maybe three weeks in nope no, no disney changed it up on us yep so official date of opening for the land not specifically a ride and now not olga's cantina the food park on the way. Yes. Mm. So, official land opening. Are you ready for this? Mm. May 31st. May 31st. Okay, guys. So, all of June. So, what that means is, if you're going to be taking your summer vacation. In June. In June. And thereafter. Or May 31st and on, you are going to be having to just be prepared. You're going to have to pack long your patience. lines. Pack Try to your come. Patience. I, I want to first tip number one. Pack your patience. Pack your patience. Two. Remember, it's not the cast members' fault. They can only help you so much. Yeah. Three. You have to have a reservation to get into the parks or stay at a Disneyland Resort hotel to reserve you to get in that part of the park. Here we go. Caution. All rooms are booked. <laughs> if you didn't get your reservation now or no. before. For your room. For you're your not going to get one to get into Galaxy's until Edge. maybe what? November? Yeah. See, the thing is, is that they had the Disneyland Resort. If you were to book a room, you automatically get a time slot to be in the land. That doesn't guarantee you to ride rides. That doesn't guarantee you to get a photo op. That doesn't guarantee you anything. I'm not too sure exactly how specifically they're doing it, but that does allow you a time slot to be in that part of the park, Galaxy's Edge. But as we were saying, all resort hotels the three of them which is the grand californian disneyland hotel itself and paradise pier booked all booked up done okay so number four if you don't want to if you don't have to go to disneyland and you can go to the california adventure i completely recommend it Yes, but okay. also bring your patience because I just saw today that they blocked out a lot of the regular passes and they're only allowed in Disneyland California Adventure. Yeah. So that means you're going to have a lot of the pass holders who are not of the upper passes there. Exactly. So bring your patience as well. Everybody's <laughs> going to be, it's going to be hot. People are going to be, you know, short tempered. Yeah. And you have to you just breathe. If you think you're gonna be Think getting ahead of, of, of something 10 other people already thought about it yeah they're already ahead of you they already if you think yeah look at us we're gonna go do this oh no think about that and just remember that there's already people who beat you to it that's yeah. all I'm gonna say in the most that's the most nicest way I could put it too and don't get frustrated with parking yeah uh, you, you if know you can uber it if you can park uber somewhere it. else and Uber and it not to get Disney, towed. and yeah, and not get towed. Number one, <laughs> and, and have a safe 
area to park your car in, I would recommend it as well. Uber yeah. it, take a lift, whatever you gotta do, but be, be aware that parking lots, all the parking lots at Disneyland will be at capacity. Yeah. Because they're not they're not planning on opening up the the new parking spots until after Galaxy's Edge opens. Yeah. So there's gonna be a little bit of timing in there that there's not gonna be any parking at all. Just to let you guys know. Yeah, and we're not trying to be Debbie Downers. We're just trying to let you know what's gonna happen just getting and you guys how it's prepared. gonna affect everything overall yeah. between both parks downtown disney all the hotels all the good neighbors staying hotels which is like the hotels right next to disneyland that are um sponsored by disneyland i guess you can say a, a way to put it is basically that um disneyland can, you can get tickets to them you can get shuttles to them all that type of stuff booked mm -hmm. booked and people are going to be coming in drones oh yeah and a couple of things to keep in mind simple things to keep in mind to keep you calm as possible and somewhat comfortable as possible when you are at the parks and you're trying to get into either park because i know they're both going to be super super busy don't forget not only patience number, one, number two just remember that it's going to be packed right don't come in thinking oh yeah disneyland disneyland over the couple past years even without galaxy's edge it's Packed. Well, remember last year it was Pixar Pier. That yeah. thing was ridiculous, and it was just Pixar Pier. It was Pier. just a little pier. So think about what Galaxy's Edge, a whole new land at Disneyland, and it's Star Wars nonetheless. How many people haven't grown up with this legendary, um, you know, franchise? And you're not gonna think that it's not gonna be packed? Yeah. That's ridiculous. It's gonna be insane. That's why we're doing this, this this video so that you guys can see and get a little bit of a warning and maybe plan, try to plan ahead. Yeah. You know, not trying not to get your too research. invested your into research. going to Galaxy's yeah. Edge. You know, because it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Do your research on a hotel not so far but not so near. Yeah. Kind of, you know, in between. See if Lyft cheaper, see if Uber's cheaper. Um, where you get um, picked up it's a quick simple off and up and you know, we've done it before yeah. right when we leave the gates we already make our reservation to get picked up literally walk down to where the pickup terminal is mm -hmm. the Toy Story buses for Toy Story parking are they're all right there so mm -hmm. it's like going towards Harbor there's a bunch of things and ways you can get to the park without having to park there right so do your research on that um, if you have any questions Go ahead and ask us. We can try to help you to the best of the ability that we can with what we know. Also, when you have younger children, I would recommend bringing a stroller because you're going to be waiting a long time in lines. Oh, and keep in mind that Disney did uh, make new policies new on... As of May. As of May 1st, new policies on how big your strollers are yes. so get on that website and no more wagons no more wagon strollers no more wagon strollers you know what no more loose ice we'll put the link for the new policies Ooh, and those on are the yeah oh that's great disney has finally banned smoking from the parks no more smoking Thank areas you. nothing yeah not even vaping nope which is fine with me. <laughs> you know. So make sure you look that up. It's uh, it's right there on the website. They have it in big old like letters so that everybody we'll can be reminded. The There's a lot of things that are changing. Make sure to pack snacks. You guys are allowed to bring in food, bring snacks as much as you like, as long as it's not in anything glass. Glass, no glass. So no glass, nothing like that. Another tip, have everything ready when you're going through yeah. security check. Have everything ready, already unzipped up and everything, so that you can get by quicker and everybody gets just flowing through a lot faster. You know, that's one of those things that I've seen a lot where they wait till the last minute to open up their bags and they yeah. have a bunch of stuff in there, thrown in there. Have it all ready to go. You know you're gonna get checked, so just have it open, ready to go so that uh, they can um, see everything. 
and get you through right away so having some fun and another thing bring a power bank because even though i see everybody running around with the fuel rods mm -hmm. and the fuel rods and the stations for the fuel rods and oh my gosh the fuel rods fit in your pocket and all that stuff, that's great and don't get me wrong if that works for you that's great too but because i don't know how big these crowds are going to be and at capacity mm -hmm. um I don't know if the, there's gonna be enough fuel rods for everyone to keep on going through them because you're gonna right. be you're gonna be streaming, you're gonna be doing a lot of things, picturing, living, um, Instagramming it up. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of power banks for them to be going through the machines. And I've seen people have like eight fuel rods at one time and they just throw them in the machine and get eight new ones. Yeah. Also another thing, I've seen on Amazon, we're probably gonna order some ourselves. We haven't quite done it yet. The rechargeable fans or oh, yeah. fans that require you know a portable personal fan bring it yeah, especially bring for summer. it for summer for the kids gonna bring it don't buy them favorite. in the parks they're like 20 to 30 dollars oh yeah they're on, don't do it yeah don't they're on amazon yeah look for them you know what I'll, I'll i'll see if i can put a link down in the description as well the, that will get you through the day because not only are you going to be hot and miserable and bothered and just just overwhelmed um bring bring something to to that effect for you and your little family also lots of sunscreen and you guys tons of water yeah tons Drink of water plenty of water please please and bring it with you you're allowed to bring it into the park as yeah. many as you want i mean don't come in with like a whole 24 pack like hey we're here to hydrate like <laughs> no <laughs> you know put there them in your also, bag at there's least there's also water fountains everywhere yeah it's free also you can get i don't know what they're called like the bubble or the pueble or whatever but i know britta makes one where you can um it has like the filter in it mm -hmm. the filter water bottle see if you can go on ahead and find something like that because then you can go up to any water fountain throw down in there and then you have some you know filter water filter water if not any um walk-up service counter can give you a cup of ice yeah they're nice like that they already have it ready to go they already know you're gonna ask don't forget you guys um they no longer have lids or straws because they're not biodegradable so if you definitely have a little one or you're mrs lipstick guru and you don't want to get your lips messed up bring your own straw <laughs> bring your own straw and if you are they bringing also a, have those reusable ones on amazon as well. yeah if you're bringing like you know plastic ones make sure you dispose of them anything like that um i would have to say other than that just remember it's gonna be crazy that's the one thing I can tell you it's gonna be crazy yeah. and don't let it spoil your time right don't because in just the be end, prepared that's what we're doing this video yeah. so that you have to end, be prepared for this yeah. hectic day or if you can if you can try to save your vacation for the end of summer yeah you know I, I, I would suggest it and recommend it highly because not the beginning of not the beginning no 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 because it's gonna be crazy yeah from may 31st to june 23rd that's gonna be nothing but only reservations for galaxy's edge and then after that forget about it yeah. it's it's all hands on deck everybody's gonna try to get in there and it's gonna be, the gonna be walking games. around like this oh, i see galaxy's edge it's gonna you be know? the hunger games like yeah. it's just like may the odds be ever in your favor <laughs> Like, it's gonna be bad. That yeah. includes us. Like, yeah. you're gonna be seeing two chubs running down, and you're just gonna be seeing runners everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's gonna be like Black Friday times 10. Just be prepared, guys. Bring your patience. Bring your patience, you know, and and just try to plan. Hope for the best, plan for the worst. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's always a, 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 my motto. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, that's it. So don't forget, guys. Comment below, tell us what your plans are for this summer uh, as far as coming to Disneyland or if you're going anywhere else. Where else are you going? Maybe we want to go with you. Yeah. Who knows that? Take a trip with the Disney Chubs. Yeah, and also <laughs> let us know if you're going to be going to Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, if you got reservations and stuff like that, that'll be super cool. We'd love to see pictures. And then you can send us to us on our Instagram. And also, if you like this video, smash that like button and hit that notification icon. Ring ding ding. To get notified when we post new videos. Hi right, guys, big chug, little chug out.